barabara ilikuwa mbaya hata ukipeleka mama anaenda kujifungua ai anazalia kwa pikipiki baba barabara imepanuka kuna mata at least say tunakaa ni cut kwa estate sasa hii imekuwa ni match hizi kwa hizi gari za zimamoto vumbi iliweza kupungua vile iliweza kutengenezwa vitu ziko safi from kawangware to kibera dagoreti to dandora mathare to mukuru the face of informal settlements and densely populated areas in Nairobi is changing. In this documentary, find out the socio-economic impact of the upgrading of roads in those settlements, a project that is being undertaken by the Kenya Urban Roads Authority. Informal settlements in Nairobi are generally densely populated and mobility has been a big challenge due to poor road network. Hapo kitambo uh, barabara zilikuwa mbovu alafu zilikuwa ndogo. Kulikuwa na wizi mingi sana. Kama mizigo imesikia kwa stage huko, unatafuta mtu akuletea na kuletea bei na kuwa bei kali na bidii sasa vinyo wala makasema yako. Barabara ilikuwa mbaya sana. Mizigo tulikuwa tunachoka kwa stage hata ndutia siku kuwa unatumia mkokoteni. To remedy the situation, the Kenya Urban Roads Authority Kura embarked on the upgrading of roads in 12 informal settlements and densely populated areas from October 2020. Kura, as an authority, is tasked with developing urban roads to enhance urban mobility. A few years ago, maybe two, three years ago, we realized that uh, most of the population in this country, in, in, in urban areas, they live in what we call informal settlements or what we call densely populated areas, like Eastlands, Ibera, uh, Madare, Kangemi, Kawangware, and all those areas. And if you can be able to improve the road network there, the impact would be very high because of the population. Another thing was we realized uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, accessibility to emergency services, even evacuating people from those informal settlements was a big challenge. And that was one of our motivation to ensure that we provide their last mile access for every Mwananji who is living in those areas. In the past, you have a lot of accidents of kids being, being taken to school in border borders, eh? in muddy environments. Now they are happy. Actually, the population of kids walking back and forth to school is very high and they're happy eh? on their roads. Eh? Remember, these are roads with slow moving traffic. They're actually pedestrian roads. Eh? Yeah, so access to schools is, is improved considerably. We don't want them to be left behind. And what we are doing in those uh, informal settlements, because you can't do conventional roads in those areas, what we are doing is to do pavement, you know, cabro, you know, so to make sure that they can also enjoy it, and drainage. Because some of the problems you are having in those informal settlements, yes, there were no roads, but there were no drainage as well. So you find it rains, there is swamps, there are mosquitoes, there is disease. And so by creating these very good pavements, we are making sure that even informal settlements also benefit from the road programs which we have. So far, the progress is remarkable, with some road sections having cabros, while others have bitumen, depending on the location. The roads are lined with drains on both sides to enable an effective flow of storm water and to avert any flooding during the rainy seasons. Uh, the target is around 400 kilometers or slightly less. So far we have done about uh, 300 kilometers. Uh, the percentage uh, progress is around 78%, call it 80%. Uh, we are hoping by April uh, 2022 we will have covered all those, all those kilometers. The cost is around 5.5 billion Kenya shillings. If you do a simple calculation, you will get around 13, 14 million shillings per kilometer. And that's why we are able to cover a big uh, scope of, of, of kilometers because it's low cost. We started by doing, doing what we call Eastlands Road Rehabilitation Program. We did 80 kilometers of roads in Eastlands, conventional roads. But uh, we spent around 2 billion Kenya shillings, but the cost was a bit high to reach out to all the people. So we now decided to do what we call now low-cost roads, so that we can cover more kilometers in the other informal settlements. Residents in informal settlements now say they live in dignity, 
Now you can meet children and the youth skating on paved roads or cycling so leisurely. Tambo ilikuwa kukinyesha, matope inakuanga mingi inabidi watu wapite round. Wachana na hii barabara samba watu napata ni wachachi. Lakini tangu itengenezwe, saizi watu wanaeza pita free, wanaeza pita wakiwa wengi na hapo kwa hiyo njia tunaeza pata makastomers wengi. Kitambo ilikuwa na matope, kulikuwa na gumbi wakati wajua, lakini kwa saizi venye litengenezwa, iko sawa. Aina vumbi, aina matope, malinafanya kazi, wateja wanaeza pika raka. Naeza pata wateja wengi kuliko kitambo, jusaya kuna matope. Tangu barabara inyanze, naona biyashara imenuka hapa sana. Hapa kulikuwa hakuna kitu, lakini saizi, at least kila mahali unaona ni business. Napata wateja wengi, hata sipatangi matatiso ya kuingia kiza matilo sipandi ya yeah, vitu ile ya kuuza kama kuletewa mahindi kuletewa vitu ile ninaweza fanya hata kwa kiosk yangu fumbi ilikuwa mingi kiasi kana kwamba watu wako anakuja wengi kwa sababu walikuwa naongopa kukula hichi hapo ati meingia fumbi saa hii naona barabara imetusaidia sana kwanza kwangu wateja wanakuja wenye wako anakula saa hii wanasikula tambo tulikuwa tunalipia mzigo tukiwa barabara wakati haikuwa Sa hii hata gari inanichukua hapa inje, muzigo inaangushu watu hapa kwa kukua kibada. Mimi ni Community Health Frontier. Tumekua na access mzuri ya kubeba wagojwa wetu. Tukiwa pereka kwa abirans ama gari ya nyeitampeleka hospitali. Aerial images of some of the informal settlements like Kasarani and Mwiki show how the densely populated areas have become much cleaner, organized and accessible. Wabara iko smart sana. At least size hatu nizo challenges za ukibebwa na ndudhi unakuja unaangushanishwa ama ukua msmart ndudhi na kuje na kusplashia maji at least size environment iko poor The upgrading of the roads goes hand in hand with access to water and health services One of the things that I found very remarkable is the access to hospitals You seen that this initiative went along with the building you know hospitals that are spotted in all those same informal settlements. And now mothers especially are able to access these hospitals even on foot without any challenges. So I, I expect um, we're saving lives in, in, in the process of um, uh, providing this service here. Yeah. Uh, NMS, uh, they have a bigger, the bigger program of providing water, sewerage and street lighting. Uh, Kura we are providing the road network and the drainage facilities. And we are working together and hoping that by the end of uh, this program we will have provided uh, what I can call a resilient road network or resilient infrastructure in all those uh, densely populated areas. The other water are also working very closely with the NMS to provide water uh, to, to the residents through boreholes and also through normal reticulated water. Besides improved access to water and health services, the other notable benefit is improved security given that street lighting is part of the improvements. Biashara imepanda juu ya kuna security at least kuna mata alafu najua kuna malule za kimbia bado unajua barabara ikiwa mbaya mtu akikuataka huwezi kimbia uta slide wanguke sasa sahi mtu akikuja from nowhere unaweza toka siaka in security ilikuwa ni vijana wanaweza iba na waingie mafichoni lakini saa hii juzi ko accessible tunaweza kimbizana pia na mwizi tukamate tuweke ndani the other socio economic benefit of the project is that it is a source of livelihood for many in terms of direct and indirect employment. Every time we build roads in Kenya, we localize employment. You want to see employment in terms of a financial value. The project is worth slightly over 5 billion Kenyan shillings. 15% of that eh, will be labor. That's um, uh, just below a fifth. 1 billion goes into a direct local labor. That's a lot of money being released into these informal settlements. Eh? And then the rest, 35%, is materials. Which materials are primarily? Local materials. And you see, supplies for a lot of building materials will actually be localized also, eh? as much as possible. I like Kenya in that um, uh, in every place where there's a construction, there is a lady selling chapati, gedheri, selling tea, mandazis, and the likes, you know? So that spread effect has also been felt. Eh? The instructions we are given, we are given to the contractors on the ground is that all the non-skilled labor is sourced 
from the local, uh, the local community. Apart from that, you find that now, even if you are doing a small business of selling, you know, chaos selling tomatoes or selling uh, those other merchandise, the cost of even transporting uh, that merchandise from now uh, source, that is the wholesale market, up to the point where you are selling them, has gone down because of uh, the, the, the road is, is now okay. <laughs> Iza zikuwa before, sayu kuna mamotobike, msana iza chapa jobi yake hapo, badu niza tumuomse wa motobike, kata mwenyewe, efficiency mwaze, flexibility tu ya mta, niko hizi sana. In a nutshell, improved roads in Nairobi's informal settlements and densely populated areas has led to improved mobility, hence improved livelihoods, and the government has plans to replicate this in other parts of the country. Most of our big towns like Mombasa, Nakuru, Kisumu, they all have these informal settlements. They all have these densely populated areas. Our plan is that uh, to mobilize resources and spread this program to other, other towns. Uh, of course, the priority will be Mombasa with areas like Bangladesh. We will also target Kisumu, uh, Nakuru, Eldoret. Um, uh, we have this assembly of Kisi, Bungoma, and uh, you know, those cities around um, uh, Western Kenya. And each of them will receive not less than about, I'd say, 200 kilometers of tarmac. Very soon, I think um, the entire country, both rural, the upmarket areas, the informal settlements, will be covered by a very robust road network, which is what we promise Kenyans, and we make sure that uh, they get more than they expected.